our first Big Ten edition of the Skip Scoop. Uh, opening weekend up at Michigan took two out of three. Why don't you talk about that, Coach? Well, it was a good weekend overall. I mean, I, I thought we played uh, we played pretty well. We won two out of three. The game that we didn't win, um, we still played well. Uh, Chad Martin, I thought, pitched an unbelievable baseball game. We we let down for one pitch, one play, and it ended up costing us a game. But overall, our guys swung the bats well. Uh, anytime you come out with a, a series win on the road, um, it, it's a positive weekend. So I, I walk away from that feeling pretty good about it. It's a good start to the Big Ten. I, you know, sure, he'd love to have three, but um, we'll get right back at it this week. Yeah, and despite the weather, Michigan had quite a few fans coming out to the games, and they actually started grabbing you a little bit. Why don't you talk about that? Well, you know, and it is funny because we play on the road a lot, and uh, you hear a little bit of everything, some creative fans out there, and you got to chuckle. And I always say to our guys, if you can't laugh at yourself, who, you know, who can you laugh at? So, And I always hear one, you know, they always make fun of me. That, you know, I hear the Brett Favre comments and, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, they all, I'll get called House, the, the, the popular series on TV right now, although my wife doesn't think I look like him, but whatever. Uh, so it got us thinking. It got us thinking that maybe we have some characters on our team that look like other people. So what we ask the guys to do is, is recommend or send in their, their uh, suggestions of who they think their teammates look like. So uh, take a look at some of these as we move through. Well, so we'll, yeah, we've got to start right with the coaching staff, and this is a, a favorite amongst the kids, but take a look at Ty Neal here. that We think he looks like the adorable little Elmer Fudd, and uh, more as the older he gets, the more he looks like Elmer Fudd. The, uh, another one here, uh, ben, Coach Ben Greenspan. We don't know who this gentleman is, but we've noticed him on the walls of Assembly Hall. He's a 1955 golfer at Indiana University, but a striking resemblance to uh, Coach Greenspan. Okay, and it seems to be that Ben kind of looks like older people. So for the 1955 photo, we're going to jump back even further in time, and we think Ben also looks a little bit like Laurel and Hardy here. So uh, take a look at this one. This is another favorite suggested by one of his teammates, and maybe he could do this, but Brian Lambert sporting his best uh, Wes Welker, uh, NFL football player there. And yeah, I think that's a dead on right there. This one comes out of the humor category from the teammates. And, you know, and it, we struggled with this one, Kyle. But, you know, if you take a close look, Justin Curitan does look a little like Franklin the Turtle. I had no idea who Franklin the Turtle was, but I think it's, I think it's the eyes. I think it's the eyes. So moving on, though, uh, back to the cartoon characters. This one, again, a fan favorite of the kids around. But Jared Sabrin sporting his best Squidward from SpongeBob SquarePants. Looks pretty good there. The lovable, huggable Matt Eigel sliding in there with a, uh, a popular figure of Smokey the Bear. Just to, you just want to squeeze him when you look at him right there. And, uh, oh, we got another. This is a blast from the past right here. Uh, could be the size, could be the size, but freshman Eric Cartman, uh, this one goes back to the classic Jaws <laughs> from James Bond. I can see the striking resemblance there. And current, right out of the commercial <laughs> that we see, freshman Tyler Tickey, if he only had a beard, he could be one of the cavemen from the popular Geico commercials. And, oh, we've struggled with this one because this could go straight to his head. But Micah, he always gets the rap for being such a pretty boy. Well, here it is, the, the, the model Tyson kind of looking a little bit like Micah, but I'd say probably only in, in, in the swag, the, the swag category there. Uh, and again, this may blow this guy's head up a little bit, but Joey Donato, freshman Joey Donato, looking a little bit like Nicolas Cage. Uh, maybe it's the eyes. I would agree with that one a little bit, guys. Good suggestion there. Um, we got Brian Cordy. This is one of my favorites. Uh, Brian Cordy looking a little bit like Squints from the old, uh, the popular baseball movie Sandlot. That's a good one. I, I like that one. I like that one a lot. And then we have, uh, oh, this one. I had no idea who this guy was. Cage fighting BJ Penn. I had no idea, but a striking resemblance. And then one of my favorites is freshman Dustin DeMuth. This guy could be two guys, I think. He looks a lot like Owen Wilson, the popular actor. But if you look at that facial expression deep down, one of the one of the greatest of all times, he's got the look of Elvis. And hey, one of the this guy has sold over a billion hamburgers <laughs> worldwide. Check out Reed. And also, we do have uh, twins on the team, and Casey and uh, Trace. 
And to add a little bit of flavor to that, we think if they had a son, he would look like Drago from the old Rocky IV movie. I don't know if I agree with all of them, but you know what? Uh, guys like to have fun, and that was clearly, uh, clearly them put some thought into it, but um, I guess I am house. I, I don't know. I, I still don't see it. Questions of the week. Let's get to the questions of the week. Um, excuse me. We've got uh, Sam from Valparaiso. We weren't as fortunate to have entrance music before entering the batter's box, I'm assuming, when he played. As a music enthusiast, who has your favorite entrance song on the team, and what would have Skip entered to in circa 1988? Honestly, I haven't even paid attention to the, uh, the players' songs, um, but I'm going to have to do that, Sam, so I have no idea of my favorite. I would say if I were going to walk out back in 1988, I would have had to do... Uh, uh, maybe a little Man in a Mirror by Mike, Michael Jackson. I, I don't know. Anything Michael Jackson because he, he was the man at that time. So thank you for your question. Uh, this comes from Todd. Uh, this is Todd. I, I don't know where Todd's from, but it looks like a graduate of Indiana University. I noticed the only thing available for purchase on the official athletic site is, that, uh, is the hat that says IU Baseball. Are there plans for T-shirts or anything? Todd, that information is incorrect because I do know they have some things uh, down in the the varsity shop and and at the request of all the viewers from skip scoop they've they've even upped their inventory so make sure you get on there and, and take a look and and the folks down there would appreciate but i know we have more than hats for sale so thank you for your question todd this comes from scott from ohio what is a non-game day like in the life of a coaching staff well it's funny you asked that scott because yesterday if you followed our michigan series we actually played a doubleheader on saturday which gave us a sunday off for the first time in a long time. I did leaves in my yard, Scott. I did leaves in my yard and tried to catch up at home. And, and uh, I'm assuming if Coach Greenspan probably went golfing or something, I'm sure Coach Neal did something with his family. Uh, Aaron Kearns, he's a, being a student, he probably studied. So it just gave us a chance to be regular people again. But thank you for your question. Let's take a look at one of our fun traditions. And you guys have been great on this, but pictures of the week. This was sent in from Pat and Allison Ryan. They were at our Michigan series, and they're standing there joining with my father, uh, Big Smitty, and my son, Jack. The interesting thing, and she'll kill me for saying this, but Allison, at the Michigan game, Allison in this photo is a Michigan grad, and notice she is wearing Indiana gear. I love it, Allison. This one comes from Rob, uh, Robert Cartman. He is the father of our freshman pitcher, Eric Cartman. As you can see, he's up, up, and away. And this is actually taken in an airplane. I have no idea how they did this, but that is an awesome picture. We love it, Robert. Thank you. This comes from, must be our weekly submission from the Dickerson family on the West Coast, but this is daughter Kelsey, brother, uh, sister of um, Alex Dickerson in our program. But this is a cable car sporting her IU gear uh, in San Francisco. So keep those photos coming. We love them. It's unique, and uh, we'd love to show, some, show them some of the fans out there across the country. And Skip, as we put last week in the rearview mirror, start to look forward. Um, we have our first Big Ten home series against Ohio State, but before that, we head back to your old stomping grounds, heading to Oxford, Ohio to take on the Red Hawks. Yep, head over to Oxford, Ohio, Tuesday game, uh, 6 o'clock right now. I think the weather's supposed to be decent, so it should be a good good evening of baseball. And then, as you said, we, we're glad to finally be home a little bit with, uh, with our conference home opener in Ohio State. going to be very, very challenging. Both of us sitting right now, I believe, 2-1 uh, and one in a conference, and uh, it's going to be a good weekend of baseball and, and looking forward to it. So, Kyle's given me this, so that means wrap it up. So we'll say, hey, join us again next week for another edition of Skip Scoop. It's always fun. See you next week.